built many startups, most of them have failed. And so Bitcoin is exactly the place that I like to be. We're gonna end it right there. What's up guys? What's up behind the scenes community members? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Behind the scenes community members of the Bitcoin Lambo podcast, things you didn't learn in school. Now you guys know that I'm asking you and to ask me questions. Anything about anything. I want to be helpful and I want to give you guys obviously the first fruits of my thoughts. Now none of this stuff is ever really planned out. But what I love is the ability to just engage with you from a video format perspective and, and be able to answer your questions, how random as they can be. So I'm going to answer three questions today. Um, uh, let's just get started. Let's just, let's just jump right in. Let's just jump right in. So the first question here uh, comes from Nick. Uh, Nick. Uh, he says this. He says, what strategies have you found work uh, to keep your mind in the moment? when you're doing activities that do not require your full spirit. Now, this is an interestingly uh, written question, Nick, but I know, I, I know you and I know exactly where you're going with this. What you're basically saying is, hey, look, there, are, there is work that has to be done. For example, these podcasts, like these podcasts and the podcasts that I do, right, with, with, all, with all of my notes, like I, I'm really involved, right? I, 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 my heart, my soul is involved with writing all these notes down, making sure that I can, I can, I can make sure that I can create some sort of format and, and put out my ideas and be able to communicate them effectively through, through the podcast medium. Like these require my full spirit. These require my full heart. However, there are administrivia. There are administrative things that I have to do every day to keep the shit moving, to keep the world going, at least in the universe and obviously with the Bitcoin Lambo podcast. With those things, the easiest way to keep myself in the moment is to make sure that I have set goals, Nick. Set goals for the day, the administrative things. I'll give you an example. Many of you guys know this. Every week, we load in new coins, new cryptocurrency coins into Yen IQ. It happens every weekend. I do it every weekend for the for a, for Monday, and I publish it on Monday on DC TV, as you guys well know. But this is administrivia. This isn't stuff that I enjoy, like really enjoy doing. It is it is manual. It is copy pasta. You know, throw the tweet in, write the context down, make sure it's added into the the sheets, added into the Bitcoin pub. Like these are things that are just they have to get done. And the only way that I can stay in it and make sure that I get that stuff if I, is I set the goals for the day. And you guys know I got these sticky notes. I always write my goals down in the morning or in my journal, in my journal here as to what I need to get done. And so that's the best strategy. The best strategy is to set goals for the, the things that don't require your full heart, the administrivia, the administrative things, the logistical things, the, the, the kind of the minutia crap that you have to do throughout the day is make sure that you've written down a goal to complete that. Because once you get that stuff done, man, it just feels good. Now, another analogy, and you guys have probably heard this before, is the analogy of like, uh, the m different size rocks and like a jar. All right, someone will go and say, "Hey, you know, let's put all, put all the rock, put put the rocks in. You put the small pebbles in. You put the medium size, and then you put the large rocks in. It doesn't all fit." Obviously, the answer is put the large rocks in first, fill in the medium ones, and then sprinkle in the small ones, and then all the rocks can fit in the jar. Right? You get this analogy. So the whole idea is. Get the highest priority things done first, Nick, that you've written down in the, for the day. Get those things done. Be accomplished. Feel great about achieving those things. Feel good, I mean, especially when you, like for me, one of the biggest things obviously every day is to knock out my podcast. This is a full four hour endeavor. Thinking of the idea, writing the idea down on notes, creating some sort of framework for my logic and my thinking, getting on, recording it for 20, 25 minutes, Going into going into post processing for podcast, post processing for video, and then for distribution. Right, this is like a four four and a half hour process every single day. That's my big rock every day, Nick. After that, all the other goals of making sure that like I do the twenty coin loader, follow up with two hundred fucking people, or <laughs> you know punch this out or do this video or even this video. This video that I'm doing to you guys was a lower priority than my number one priority today, which was to do my podcast. So when it comes to strategies that I found to keep my mind in the moment when I'm doing activities that do not fully require my full spirit, I make sure that I write them down 
and as a goal for the day so that it that that mental accountability right keeps me to do it keeps me doing it that makes sense I hope that was helpful. Next question comes from Gundy. Gundy says, with all the work and all the everything, what's your top ways to blow off steam? Easy. Driving sauna. Driving sauna. To, oh, actually, it's even, actually, it's even easier than that. Driving sauna, take a walk, go outside and play with my kids or something like that. that. That's basically it. Since you guys know that I'm always here in the garage, always grinding away on content, code, product development, all sorts of stuff. The best ways for me is take the car out, take the race car out, take a drive. The best time is after the kids are down so that I can have free moments. And the sauna, I've talked about the sauna, um, mastering, I think, one of my podcasts on, on, on discipline and pain. Uh, I talked a lot about the sauna and how that is a, is a going to the sauna and, and burning everything with fire and, and, and making sure that it's, it's, it's like a resurrection moment coming out of the sauna and feeling brand new. Like these are things that, that, that keep me going, keep me going. Obviously, I have the opportunity, which is great. I have the opportunity all the time, Gundy, to just walk outside, grab some fresh air, kind of reset, mess around a little bit, listen to some music, write some ideas down on my notes, and then get back to work. And so I think I, um, one thing that I would look up is the, um, I think it's the Pareto, the, the, the Pareto time box thing, where like you work for 40 minutes and then you take a 20 minute rest, work for 40 minutes, take a 20 minute rest, time box. Time box your work, time box your work is what I'm saying. Uh, the third question for today's video comes from Marty. He says, what's your podcasting rig look like? Uh, if you guys want, I also answered Marty in my other behind the scenes group, my other community group in yen.io on podcasting. I also answered the, a similar question, but I'll answer the question now for the Bitcoin Lambo behind the scenes group and community here on yen. What's your podcasting rig look like? Mike Software Publishing. Well, Mike, pretty simple, guys. I'm running a blue, a Yeti blue a Yeti blue mic. It's great. It's plug and play. You don't need a receiver. It's USB. Just plug it in. It works. Like I've gone through three of these, I believe, and they're just, they just work exceptionally well. Software, I use OBS. I'm recording off of OBS right now. You can check out OBS website for that. Uh, it's free on Mac and it's free on Windows. It's great for podcasting and it's great for video, obviously. Publishing, I went hardcore. I didn't go with any of the Mac software. I went straight to Adobe, and I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC, which I believe is 45 bucks a month, um, and it's totally worth it. And the reason is is because you, by, by learning Adobe, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro CC, you will literally have access to the entire spectrum of movie making and podcasting. Now, is podcasting, is, is Adobe Premiere Pro CC for podcasting probably overkill? Probably, probably, but I'm telling you, go, going into Adobe Promo, Premiere Pro CC, the website, and going to the tutorials, if you're willing to spend the time going through them and doing the tutorials, it will open up your mind to opportunities to create. And that's what I, that's what I love about Adobe Premiere. There's just so, much, so many options to create full movies, to create great podcasts, great episodes, great shows. I mean, they can teach you how to do all the animations, all the transitions, all the overlays and all that stuff. I mean, and you're, you're paying, I kind of like the fact that you have to pay so much you know, 45 bucks a month or whatever it is, because it, 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 it's like this, like, fuck, I'm paying 50 bucks a month for this thing. I better freaking learn how to use it. I better be able to learn how to use it to its max. Now, there are other, other options out there for podcasting, but Adobe Premiere Pro CC is what I use. It's certainly not built for podcasting, uh, but if you're recording off of OBS, you don't really need anything else. You don't really need anything else. I hope that was helpful, Marty. And I hope that was helpful, everyone out there in the Bitcoin Lambo. Things I didn't learn in school, behind the scenes community on yen.io. Make sure that you invite your friends to this cool community, guys. I'm really going to be spending a lot of time helping and giving back to this because I really believe that communities are where life change happens and not just a posting feed.